Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my new video. Sorry I've been gone for a while. Um, just been busy with the holiday time, and there wasn't really that much news to cover. And I've been working on getting a new editing software, so it's been very confusing. But I'm back now, and yeah, the news is, if you didn't know, they came out with some new set photos from Flash Season 7, Episode 7, the episode they're filming. And there's this mysterious new character, as you can see, who is like a part of the Central City Police Department. And this is, of course, before they're actually shooting, just doing her makeup. And here, you can see that she is talking to Joe. And it said that it seemed like he was trying to um convince her or something and like persuade her but not like aggressively uh which is interesting and then the next scene or it could be, be it could be before this but the next scene is her and the central city police department meta human task force uh, like surrounding a, I think it's a restaurant, but some sort of building. And they're telling someone to come in and all kinds of things. And they're talking to Killer Frost, which is very interesting. They tell her to put her hands in the air and give her like two minutes to come out. She goes, she does come out. Uh, and as you can see, here's her being handcuffed. That's interesting because, like, she could either be being framed or, like, maybe she didn't commit a crime, but I feel like it's more of the frame route. Um, and, yeah, so the point of this is because a few months ago, an interview with Eric Wallace talked about how Joe's going to be dealing with a lot of real, like, realistic stuff in the police department um, in the new season, but not like right away, so I think it's like what it is, like, maybe she's a higher rock or just in charge of the Central City Task Force, like the Medi-Human Task Force, or something, or just some random cop that, like, is taking it into her own hands. And, um, maybe Kill Frost did do something, or if she was trying. And, like, I think the scene before, when the talking by the car, is like him trying to convince her before, don't do this, but then she does it, or it could be after him saying, uh, don't, like, send her to jail and stuff, because either she's being framed, maybe she did commit a crime, but she wasn't in her right mind. Um, or it could be like a racist thing with metahumans, humans, but that's the route I don't think they'll go, but they could go. Um, but the thing that is the main point of the video that is interesting is, is that could it be possible that she's working for Black Hole, or they're like um, using her, like maybe she's not willingly working with Black Hole. Um, cause like I said in the first Flash video I made, I do think that Rajin will be the main villain and he's the head of uh, Black Hole. So this could be a good way to slowly start to reintroduce Black Hole after, uh, like, while using Godspeed and like Mirror Mistress. Um, yeah, and so like, maybe instead of getting rid of them, she's sending them to Black Hole, or just Black Hole wants them or something. Um, and so like, it's like corruption in the CCPD, I mean either way it is corruption in the CCPD, but like, black hole corruption in the CCPD, um, and yeah, showing that they have a lot of power in CCPD, and Joe's gonna have to hopefully we'll figure that out. would be very interesting, and yeah, that will be it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed
enjoyed it and subscribe to get, stay notified for the next video because hopefully in the next couple days I'll have videos out on some of the DC Comics Future State books and also in the next couple days reviews on the Batman pilot. But I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.